what's going on guys another red star opening video for you guys uh we got uh cloak arriving here now and uh he's an interesting character he's gonna be uh he's gonna have some synergy with uh with dagger who's also coming up here but uh yeah lots of life steal so that's gonna be really cool um there he's gonna be available to the season strike pass uh, it's coming to close here pretty soon so he's gonna be the new one and uh yeah his red star orbs are officially in the game now so you can basically open up those and hopefully get some good rng and, uh, and yeah, lots of uh, seems to be like a like a debuff applier and uh, and stealing health, especially with synergy with uh, with dagger. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that team meshes and kind of where they sit in the game here. Um, so make sure there's 15% on the uh, red star orbs. I usually like to wait a few days. That way, to, if there's any bugs or anything like that, we can sort it out. Uh, we got about 107 red star orbs saved up, and uh, we don't want to get too greedy here. But I'd say you know what. Let's open up about 20, see where that takes us, and open up some elites as well and see and see how that goes. Uh, I got a purple elite there already, sweet. Uh, it's hoping it'd be it would be him, and then we would be just, we'd be done. We'd be done, and uh, we'd be uh, making a short, quick little uh, video. So we got a one star there, nice. Uh, we got him out of the way now, and hopefully we can get a two or a three. That uh, would be awesome. Our RNG on the last uh, red star wasn't so hot, so. Hopefully this time is a little bit better. I think I was only able to uh, luck out on uh, uh, with these normal orbs. I think I only got a two uh, red on uh, Shang Chi, and uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't the best. But uh, then we opened up some elites, and it worked out. So, anyways, let's see how this one goes. Um, we're just that's about ten, I think. Okay, we got another one on the red, the one on the red, and yeah, uh, to, and I, I'd say right now I don't know if these guys are. Um, oh, a five. I think that's an upgrade. Wow, that's a big upgrade. Um, yeah, I think for sure, like, I'm not really sure where these guys play in the current meta. Um, they look okay. And uh, there's a three. So not bad. So I think I'm pretty happy with the with a three on him. Um, oh, and then there's a two. Nice. All right. So we'll open up five more here. Maybe this will be the four. Okay, the carnage. So we've got a couple of nice pulls here. Uh, I'm actually pretty shocked I even got that upgrade on Groot. I didn't realize I had him in a three still. It's tough to come by with upgrades anymore these days. Uh, seems like seems like it's always just duplicates, duplicates, duplicates. We got three there. And uh, this will be the last one on the normals. So we got we got one on the Thor. All right, so that's it, guys. That's it for 20, 20 regulars. We've got some of the, uh, the promotion credits. Uh, we got the uh, we got the five red on Groot. And then we got uh, three on uh, Cloak, so that's pretty nice. So let's actually jump into the, uh, we'll jump into the roster later here. But we got we got a couple of these Elite Fours. And uh, I'd say let's open up two, see how that goes, and take them from there. But I'm happy with the three. I think it sucks that he is a Seasons character, so that doesn't really mean how we, you know, we can farm him the, like the way we did with Deathpool or Kestrel. Uh, it just means we're kind of limited with those shards. But uh, you know what? Just, you know, having access to him is still better than nothing. So we got that 15% chance. Make sure he's there. Good stuff, good stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's open some up. And hopefully maybe we can get ourselves that far. Oh, I think that's an upgrade. Wow. So we're doing pretty good today. We got some upgrades on Groot. And we got an X-23 now. So that's pretty sweet. And some dupes, of course. And let's hopefully get an upgrade here as well. Four on Misty. I think that's a dupe. Okay. So that's it. We got two there. And, uh, and that's all she wrote, guys. So we got dupes on um, X23. Or sorry, sorry. We got dupes on Misty, and then we got the upgrades on X23, and then on Groot. So let's go into the roster here. And, uh, and as you guys can see here, um, they'll jump up a little bit. Deathpool got pretty, uh, got some juicy, juicy uh, farming on her during the event. So I'm pretty happy about that. And just trying to get her leveled up now. Uh, so Groot. Let's see what he jumps to. 60,000 to 74. Wow, that's, uh, I guess that's what two reds will do to you. That's pretty nice. It's a 14,000 jump. Pretty decent amount of health. 40,000-ish uh, or 30,000-ish in health. Damage goes up slightly. And then uh, armor ETC. All right, so that's pretty nice. I don't really use these guys anymore, but still nice to get that upgrade. And uh, let's promote X-23. I uh, should probably put more into her. I know some guys are... They have her over 100k, and and mine's still a baby. Um, she gets a bit more health there. Damage goes up a bit. Armor as well. All that good stuff. So, luckily, we did get some pretty pretty okay up, upgrades. I'm not going to complain about that. And, of course, we got the three on uh, on Cloak as well, which is nice. So, let's actually take a look at his kit here. And uh, then you guys will have 
uh, you know, an understanding of what he can do. Um, but yeah, he um, first ability into darkness. Uh, apply a, one assist now to a random dagger ally. So just anybody. And then this just kind of does damage and applies offense down. Offense down, that's important. We'll come back to that later. Um, Umbro Embrace. So attack primary target for 100% damage, plus applying slow and defense down. So again, pretty good stuff. Uh, debuffs are always nice, especially with the defense down. Clear three random pauses from the primary target. Apply offense down. So pretty nice. Again, like I said, the offense down is going to be important later on. So this one ability basically applies slow defense down and offense down. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, then clear all positives and then apply slow defense down and offense down for two turns. So that's pretty nice. I think that's going to definitely be worth T4. -ing. Shadow Assault. Attack all enemies for 80% damage. Apply one random negative effect from this list. So blind defense down ETC. And then also apply vulnerability. So this is really cool because, um, not that I can recall, but this is probably one of the only abilities that I, I've seen that they can actually apply a vulnerability without being uh, directly linked to an ISO 8. So that's pretty cool. Um, if Dagger is an ally, uh, additionally attack all enemies for 120 piercing. Piercing is always nice to have because that just cuts right through the defense. And then apply offense down again up to... A maximum of five so we've got we've got some random debuffs here and then we also have offense down um, if daggers an ally apply more um, piercing more piercing apply two random negatives that's pretty good uh, attack all enemies again more damage uh, apply three random negative uh, effects so this is really cool this is starting to look really 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 wicked so you're applying all these crazy debuffs on everybody and then it's piercing damage as well so this is gonna this is gonna obviously hit like a rock um, and then, of course, his uh, his passive is what makes him truly, truly cool. At the end of this character's turn, 50% chance to steal 5% health from the most injured enemy and all adjacent enemies and redistribute to self. So that's cool. If Dagger is an ally, always steal health from the most injured and all adjacent targets. So, again, uh, just applying the debuffs itself is already really really nice but now you got this guy stealing health from a ton of different characters getting 10 percent focus mystic heroes gain 10 percent focus uh gain 20 percent dodge so nice in raids while well, this character has offense up gain 10 percent additional dodge so he's gonna dodge when he gets an offense up in raids when an enemy gains defense down reduce the speed of that enemy by 15 percent everybody's getting the offense down so that means everybody gets winded back um Again, more focus. If daggers an ally, gain more dodge chance. Uh, in raids, gain 15% chance for self and new warrior allies. And then 20% uh, focus for self and mystic allies. So anyways, uh, he's going to pair really well uh, with Deathpool if you're using her right now on the uh, on the uh, mystic nodes. Um, I, I Personally, for me, I, you guys have seen my one shot or my two shots. Uh, you know, it's a pretty good team right now, so I'm not sure... Uh, where these guys will fit in maybe for my current doom, but probably maybe in 1.2 or higher difficulty These guys are really gonna shine and I think that synergy uh, with death pool is gonna be really really wicked uh, Right now, like I said, I don't really have too many issues because I'm running oh so many different mystic characters that are so good and uh, And of course, you know, you're trying to pump resources into certain characters But I mean we got we got Adam Warlock. We got doom. We got silver surfer uh, oh so many great mystic characters and now we got death pool and uh, of course we got uh, You know, we got dagger and cloak coming in as well, but I mean yeah uh, lots of really good characters already hella I believe ma uh, Obviously the legendary is really really awesome for those nodes But um, we'll see what happens when they pump out more harder raids or something like that, but but right now uh, for me, I'll probably, um, you know, bring these guys up to level 60 or 70, but obviously I won't be able to push them as high as I can because of their shards limitation, but for sure it's going to have some nice synergy with Deathpool. So, always good to have, and then that life drain with uh, Deathpool and that stealing health and that speed reduction, I think that's really going to be a really, really efficient raid team uh, for a lot of people. So, anyways guys, that's all we got this one. Uh, we will catch you guys in the next